Good morning, April 21st. What a glorious spring day this is. The sun's shining, the birds are singing. Our heart is glad. We're rejoicing and praising the Lord. Today's devotional on April 21st is I pray that the eyes of your understanding are not darkened. And we're in Ephesians 4, 17 and 18. You know, sometimes as human beings, we don't have all the wisdom that God has and the understanding that He has, that He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He knows the start. He knows the ending. He knows the in-between. He knows all those things. And sometimes when we pray for the sick and we go and minister to the lost and we do things for the kingdom, you know, and we try to understand. And, you know, one, one time I had a friend that had cancer in his head and he was a very godly man, or I thought he was. He was my Sunday school teacher. And, and I asked him one day, I said, would you like to be healed? Can I pray for you? And he said, here was the statement he made. No, if God wants to heal me, he can. Well, I thought that was very spiritual, but the Holy Spirit of God was very saddened by this mistake. In, in Ephesians 4.18, the Lord took me to this. I kept hounding the Father. I said, why didn't my friend receive this? I won't give you his name because I don't want to create a problem for him or his family or you. I want you to open your eyes today. It says, therefore I confirm and affirm with you. Do not be as the Gentiles are. In other words, an unbeliever. Led by the untrained and the darkening of your mind. Darkened. In other words, God is light. Jesus is light. We are light. The gospel is bringing light into us. But this man was a, was a godly man and was trying to walk. But he didn't understand the things of God. He had been darkened. His understanding to the ways of the Lord had been darkened. He didn't know that it says in the Bible, and in, 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 uh, I'm sure he had read it, but he, he didn't have a spiritual understanding of it. And as it talks about in Isaiah 53, verse 3, 4, and 5, and 1 Peter 2, 24, that by his stripes that he had been made whole. That was before the cross. He was beaten, and because of his stripes upon his back, mankind was and has healing for their body. Do you realize that when you take communion, and this man had taken communion many times, do you realize that he did not judge himself? In 1 Corinthians 11, Paul says to judge yourself. It says many of you are sick and afflicted and dead, and even, a, so he called it asleep, but dead, literally have died because you do not and are cannot hear and won't receive the very thoughts and intents of God's heart and his word. He is talking to you this morning. Are you sick in your body with cancer? Are you sick in your body with some kind of disease, rheumatism, arthritis, blindness? Anything that's not of God. That God didn't make junk. He didn't make you sick and afflicted. God is not the one doing this to you. Jesus said in John 10, 10, the, I, the Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But I've come that you have life and have it more abundantly. Maybe you receive his abundant life today. Receive the stripes upon Jesus' back. And when you take communion, that bread that is broken and given to you in remembrance of him every time you do it, maybe you need to take it every day or two or three times a day and receive that broken body that it represents our healing. And then take that efficacious blood that cleansed you and me from our sins and our doubt and our unbelief. Maybe we walk. I'm talking pretty fast and pretty furiously this morning and pretty, pretty heavy here with authoritative word. You know, Satan has come to kill, to steal, and destroy. But may you, a sick person here on this earth, receive the salvation of the Lord, which is so, so as to be completely healed, whole, delivered well in the presence of the Lord God who is living within you, his body, your body is His temple and He wants to fill you with Himself. May you receive this. Go read Ephesians chapter 4 and start in about the 12th verse and read to the end what we have to do. Put on the new self. Lay down that tradition. Lay down that, all the doctrines of demons. Go read 1 Timothy 4, 1 where it calls religious demons, the, the doctrines of men, religious doctrines. He said they're awful. They're demons. And we live in that and we won't accept the thing that Christ did for us. He came that you and I have life and have it now. Not when we die. Now. Now. Now is the day of salvation. Receive. Father, I pray right now by the authority of your precious Son's name that the blinders would be taken off the people's eyes and their ears and their heart would come to a salvation of Jesus today. Amen.